So we have seen that the weekday method of the date time object gives us the day of the week when the particular date happened. For example, here I said 31st January 1977. Now, if I were to do date underscore birth, which is the name of my object, dot say weekday with, sorry, week, W E K day with these closing brackets. Now, I must have these brackets because this is a method. And if I did this, notice I get a zero. Now, I must somehow translate this into a format that is human readable. For that purpose, I did some little bit of research and I found that zero really means Monday, one means Tuesday and so on and so forth. So my problem statement now is that I must convert this zero into a Monday, one into Tuesday, two into Wednesday and so on and so forth. The solution I'm going to do for this problem, little problem of converting number to days is to use lists. Now lists, remember, are basically variables connected to each other and each indexable with an index. Now it turns out that creating lists in Python is actually very, very simple, but we have to pay attention to some of the syntax. So let's say I create a list here, weekday names, and in this list, I want to store the names of the weekdays. So to create a list, I must use a square bracket. Pay attention to this. It must be a square bracket. Otherwise, you'll not get a list. Now, if I did this, I'm going to, you know, have an opportunity to put whatever items I want to populate in this list. So in this case, remember, zero returned me a Monday. So I put Monday in, uh, in the first position. Then I put, say, Tuesday. Oops, I got the spelling wrong. So Tuesday. Then I put, say, Wednesday. Then I put, say, Thursday. Say, then the Friday. Say, Saturday. And finally, Sunday. Now, this statement is all I need to create this list. Now, let's me just run this code and convince you that this list has been created. Which year I was born in, say, 1977, 1 and, say, 31. Now, if I look at weekday names, you will notice that it appears with square bracket separation and you know all these values that i have populated now these values right now are strings these are basically names notice i put a single quote i could also put a double quote there but lists in general can have for example numbers can have practically anything yeah one more way i can figure out that i've created a list i is by looking at the type command and i can say type weekday say for example names and it says class list which means this is indeed a list now, before I move forward, before I tell you how to use this list, let's just go back to a little bit of compare and contrast. Remember when we created lists in Scratch, in fact, we had to do a lot more work. First, we would define the list name. Then we would put a code which would delete all of those this, you know, items of there and then go and add each item one by one. It, you know, it's a little bit like lots of blocks and all. And then we would get this list. In fact, it turns out that all of this is taken care of this one single statement which are basically comma separated values. So all these items are separated by comma notice here and importantly, a square bracket. This square bracket is important. That's this entire statement is in fact equivalent to all of this. So in some sense, like I said, creating lists in Python is actually somewhat easier. Now let's go back to thinking, how do we use this list? Well, all we really need to do is to figure out which item of this list am I interested in? For example, if it's a zero, then I want to, you know, pick up item, let's say Monday. If it's one, I can put item Tuesday and so on and so forth. So what I can do is I can, you know, I can say, okay, let me first get the number of the weekday. And that we know very well comes to us from this method date, you know, date birth dot weekday. Now, again, this function, this method has to be called after the creation of the date birth object, which is logical because otherwise, the interpreter will not know what we are talking about and there'll be an error. So I say, okay, weekday num is date birth dot weekday. Now remember, it's going to return to me 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now I can use this as an index into the list. And, and, and how do I do that? Well, let me just put a small print here. Let's say an empty print. And then I say, print, say, you were born on a and dot, dot, dot. And I can then, you know, uh, probably put let's say uh, n equals to perhaps let's say this okay yep n equals to this and then I can go and say print now this statement is actually very very interesting I'm going to say weekday 
names and with square brackets i'm going to put weekday num now this is actually very interesting because like i said we are now indexing into the list we are basically finding out item for example zero of this list item one of this list item two of this list and so on and so forth which means that if my weekday num is zero i'm going to pick up weekday names zero which happens to be monday Otherwise, if, if weekday num is, let's say, 3, I'm going to pick up 0, 1, 2, 3, a Thursday, and so on and so forth. Uh, let's just try it a few times here. So what happens here? Let's say, so which year were you born in? I say 1977. January, say 31. You were born on a Monday. Because if I look at week, you know, maybe I can put this. So I can just look at this here. Weekday num is 0. Let's just try one more example. Let's say I say, which year were you born in? I say 2010. Uh, I say March and I say, say 6, it says you were born on a Saturday. That's because if I look at weekday num now, it is going to be 5. So what is going on really is that I'm picking up this weekday num and I'm using that to index into this list. Now again, before going forward, I just want to do a little bit of compare and contrast to make things more clear. Really what we are doing is having created that list, we are finding in scratch terminology, we are finding item weekday num of weekdays. Remember, that's what the list would do. Items will are basically these, you know, these quantities that are inside the list and I'm just picking out those, uh, you know, quantities. Equivalent indexing here is using a square bracket. I can put weekday names, square bracket, whatever I want. But there's an important difference that indexing is now starting at zero. In Scratch, indexing started at 1, but now starts at 0. So if I go back here, I can actually check this. I say weekday, uh, for example, names. This is the entire list. But now, for example, if I did weekday name 0, which is kind of saying item 0 of this list, and that is a Monday. Weekday name 1 is, say, Tuesday. Weekday name, say, 5 is, for example, Saturday. And that's exactly what was going on when we used, for example, print statement with weekday names, weekday num, because weekday num was essentially this number now which was an integer uh, you kind of see how the logic is coming together and now how we are able to tell which day a person was born in in a form which is very very human readable we can take one more example uh, let's say this time i take one more example of say 2013 say 11th month and 11th day it turns out that was a monday i hope this makes it clear uh, try to understand how the list indexing is working how the list is created and things will be very much clear for you take care thank you so much bye bye